Welcome back to my Halloween Monster Marathon, where creatures lurk in the shadows awaiting trick-or-treaters to leave their houses and disappear into the night. But what happens when trouble does come about? Will everyone make it out alive? We can only hope they don't. Hi, honey. Have fun. Tell Karen I said hi. I will. Uh, pick me up at midnight? Okay, just give me a call if you need me sooner. Okay. Uh, love you. Bye. Jacobs. Happy Halloween. Come on in. How are you? How's college? Uh, school's good. My mom says hello. Oh, I miss her at church. And work works good? You still at the video store? Yeah, uh, play it again video. Be kind and rewind. That's pretty adorable. What is that, a rope mark? I've never noticed that before. Uh, yeah. It's kind of like a little triangle. I like it. Stay up! Move your ass! Just grabbing my coat! Hello, honey. Blah, blah. Hi. Where is your makeup? I'm not wearing it. Why? Jesus, I'm not wearing it. All right, so we'll be back at 11.30 or midnight. Uh, the McLaren's phone number is by the phone. Okay. So just call if there's an emergency. Tommy's in his room making a mask, so he's still not the silent king. Just kind of be patient with him. Snag this baby from work. Cannibalistic humanoid from Detroit. 80s trash cinema for a price. Camera gets to come over and you don't tell your parents? You like Cam, right? Deal? Okay, I'll go make you a sandwich.
in the tree. <laughs> Not in the house, you f***ing retard. Oh. What are you doing? Right, right. right. Oh. What? This week expensive, okay? Oh, okay. It's done. The demo? Yup. This one, it's called March of the Death Witch. What do you think? De death Witch? No, witch, like death witch. Yeah. Oh, so this is like death metal? No. Or, or thrash metal? No, it's this This is black metal. Black metal. You know, black like in evil. It's something that they're doing in Norway, and then we started doing it here, and it kills. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah. why does it sound like it's recording the bathroom? Uh, I mean, it's supposed to. It's, it's raw, you know, gritty. Yep, well, hold that thought. I gotta give a little squeeze dinner. Okay. Why does it sound like it's recording in the bathroom? <laughs> she didn't get it. Nobody gets it. Right, Bill? Did you hear that? What? Turn off the music. Why? Turn off the music. Okay, sorry. It sounds like it's coming from the basement. It's, I don't know, probably Tommy playing or something. No, he's in his room. I don't know. Tommy, you down there? It's probably just a raccoon, you know? Really? A raccoon did this? Come here, little fella. I got a sandwich for you. No, he's down here? No, they never come down here. They can't know, please. Well, we have to tell someone. He's lost and there's probably somebody out there looking for him. Huh. Are you kidding me? Did you hear the sounds that thing makes? There's nobody looking for that thing. It's probably hopped up on something. Well, he can't stay down here. It's not safe. I'm gonna have to call your mom. Please, please don't. Supposed to be quiet. No, not yet. Hey, thanks for coming. Thanks for having us.
nothing. I guess we try the cops now? God, he's gonna be the next Dahmer. If I were his parents, I'd beat his ass every day. What? Oh, what? I don't have my keys. Well, where are they? I, I don't know. I put them in my jacket, but they're obviously not there anymore. Well, do you have them? Kill you! Cam, wait! You've gotta be fing kidding me. I'm gonna kick your ass, you little. Give me those keys! Cam, let's just go. We can walk to the McLarens. We're miles from anyone, okay? Where are we gonna go? Hey, he's coming around. <laughs> Please, can we go? Settle down, all right? You're safe. You're safe, all right? Now, now, what's going on? He, he, he killed him. He's, he's, he's dead. He's dead. Now, now, slow down, okay? Slow down now. Take a breath. Take a breath, all right? Now, a kid killed who? He killed my boyfriend. And then he, he fed him to that thing. I, I don't know what it is. It, it, it's, it's okay. Let's get you somewhere warm, all right? Okay? Oh. What are what are you doing out here? I'm, I'm just looking for my dog. What? What the? F please, please. What are you doing? Oh, you saw it, didn't you? Isn't it incredible? Who are you, people? I'm sorry, Misty, but fate brought you here tonight. What?
Wake up, little missy. You don't want to miss your special day. something so big. Your, your son, he, he had this, this thing, this creature in the basement. Creature? Oh, he's no creature, honey. He's family. He's been with us the whole time for hundreds of years. And tonight is his night. For tonight is Sam Hain. You're psychotic. All you people are psychotic. I'm truly sorry for your boyfriend. Cameron, was it? I mean, he seemed like a nice boy. A little too old for you, but a nice boy. But he shouldn't have been here tonight, though. You know the rules. I loved him. I know, honey. I know. He served his purpose, but you are the main treat. You won't get away with this. My, my mom knows I'm here. <laughs> your mom's the reason why you're here. And we thank her for that. I don't believe you. Be strong, baby. Mom? 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 Mom, please, Mom, help me. I always knew you were special. This is your birthright. Where you're going is going to be so much better than this of an earth. Mommy, please. I promise. Mom, please. It's time. Tommy? <laughs> tonight in the last minutes of Sam Payne. And we gather to pay witness. For it is time. For it is time. Wait, wait, no, no, he eats once every five years. He, he already ate. He already ate. Cameron was just a bonus. And maybe it was fate that brought him here tonight, too. But in the last minutes, it's you, the mark one that counts. So tonight he eats twice. And don't worry, that pretty face. He never eats the face. <sighs> swerve around every freaking street corner. Look, not to be an asshole, but I'm gonna have to leave you four stars. You still here? All right, one star it is then. Awesome. Happy Halloween. Yeah, happy Halloween to you too.
can with the puns, not even original ones either. And here at 104.3 KRAS, your host Chad the Crasshole himself, along with his trusty sidekick Chet Chunkers. We will be trick or treating you to some bone rattling tunes all night long. The Crasshole, myself, are celebrating all in all as even spectacular spooky fashion. Halloween is for mood and atmosphere. Halloween is for for chills and spooks and the grotesque. Halloween's not for making money. Well, every day is the same when you're broke, babe. You know what I'm gonna say. Broke is not a mindset. Broke is a mindset, Jeremy. All right, well, tomorrow's the first, and I can't pay bills with a mindset, so the road for me. All right, well, do you know when you will be home? Because I have a surprise for you. OK. Um, I have outfitted our apartment for Halloween shenanigans, but I'm not going to tell you what I have planned. Jeremy? Please don't do this to me again. I'll be there, wait, just, just one more, okay? Okay. You didn't see me? I sneak up on people. I guess you could call it a skill. Guess you could. Would you mind? What? Dinner got a little out of hand. Pair of teenagers. I'm kidding. It's stage what? What is it? <laughs> It is. I didn't have time to wash up. I'm running late. I've already gotten it all over my phone. Would you mind? Much appreciated. as to why my hands are blood soaked. Dracula's a blood sucker, right? Part of the costume, I assume. Being Dracula doesn't necessitate bloody hands. Uh, 
Oh, you got blood on your hands. It's this little show that I was in. A little monster mash put on by some actor friends and myself. I had all the classics. Frankenstein, his bride, the mummy, creature from the Black Lagoon, and of course, yours truly. <laughs> Sounds a little hokey. Uh, it's violent, actually. Absurdly so. Comically, even. You see, the monsters in our little play have formed a council. And the nature of our meeting is to elect a president. Of course, all the creatures throw their hats at. The entire thing descends into this wild brawl. All the creatures fighting with each other for the position. What <laughs> Guess who won? Hey, Howard? Yeah. You want to back to For your safety. What's the mummy? Can't kill what's already dead. Dracula's already dead, isn't he? Still feasts on the living. More alive than the mummy. Have you ever been in a wreck? What's that? A car wreck. If you were to swerve off the road right now and hit a light pole, I'd probably be ejected through the front windshield. Happened to a friend of mine in college. Walked away unscathed. The driver, on the other hand. I don't plan on having any accidents. I didn't say anything about an accident. Careful. He wanted to. What? My friend. He wanted to what? Wreck. He grabbed the car and twisted the wheel so it ran off the road. What a waste. Did you say something? He wanted out. Instead, he set his friend on. You get that, don't you? The death drive feeling? Sure. Everybody does. When I stand near a ledge or by a train. Everybody does. Why is that? This species has a destructive instinct that extends to even its own survival. What do you make of that? I don't. Hmm. Of course, suicide is different. What is that? Pardon? Are you eating in my car? Do you see any food? Why are you doing that? Doing what? The ventriloquism act speaking without moving your mouth. Are you impressed? No, it's unnerving. I guess you could call it another skill. You all right? You're leaking. Just part of the process. What? I'm dying, Jeremy. But for me, it's more like molting. So long as I secure a new vessel. Stop that. Stop what? Speaking with your mouth closed. Why? It feels good in my head. I don't like it. What's hidden in your head that you won't accept visitors? Let me in. I'm so tired. Of what? What was that you were going on about? Malting? We're not on the road anymore, Jeremy. Where are we? In your mind. Sick in here. 
Am I sleeping? Am I sleeping? No. Who are you? What I am is less important to you than where I'm going. Where I'm from is a distant place. Far in space and time, the bright swell of light from my home's demise thousands of years ago is only now reaching yours. But I don't mourn. I make new homes everywhere I go. I'm in very many places now. I've come so far, yet where I'm going next is very close. You're gonna kill me. We don't kill. We inhabit. Think of a flooded river rising towards a puddle along its bank. When they meet, the puddle no longer exists, but it's absorbed. You want to make me like you? We have to propagate. This body has grown weak for our means. You don't want me. I'm useless. Quit thinking of yourself. You would waste flesh. A body brimming with potential. Give it to us. We would appreciate your gift, as we as Howard's and his friends. I'm using it. You're tired. You don't know what I am. We're already inside you, among your thoughts and desires. You can't lie. We see everything. What kept you from following through? Am I dead? Did I fall asleep? Crash? Do you want to be dead? I don't know. Indecision plagues you, life torments you, ceded to us, and the toiling stops. You're cowardly. Incapable of dealing with your own issues. We'll do all the work. Hello? Hello? Howard? I can't. I can't. There are people. There's one person. You don't have to say goodbye. We'll say hello. You can't. It will be her choice. As it is yours now. But make it fast. Fading. Soon we'll leave you to yourself again. What do you say? Welcome to your Halloween haven, complete with witchy company. Jeremy? <sighs> Jesus, for a second I thought it wasn't you. Sorry, I'm just beat. Look at me. Come on. When we're here, it's just the two of us. I'd like it if you tried. It's a really long night. Strange ride. Forget it. it never happened. <laughs> Jesus, Jeremy! Pardon? 
What is that? A bit of residue. And what have you been eating? It's the other way around. Are you pulling a Halloween prank on me, babe? Mm, something like that. Something not right about you. Jeremy took it out. Decided to gift us his vessel. It's not quite your worst fear, sweetie. But it's adjacent. Jeremy left you with a pair of words scrawled in chicken scratch on the page. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> What happened to you? Visitor granted him his wish. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. I can already see into your thoughts. You know that's untrue. You know that's untrue. Peer into mine and find solace. Find solace. Find solace. You're an imposter. You're an imposter. He was an imposter. This, this is far more genuine. Where to go? It's only us and you. It's only us. Whitney. You need help.
Sugar? All right, get the rest of the stuff. I'm gonna get set up so we'll be all ready to pop. Oh, you ain't lying, baby. This is gonna be the best goddamn Halloween party ever. Ever! Bring it in, honey. Oh, man, this place is creepy as hell. Where's all the dry ice and the jack-o'-lanterns and You're two hours early, Abe. Ah, never mind. I'm here to help. Fuck, I'm excited. I'm ready to pound some beers, roast some mallows, and smoke some weed. Let's get this goddamn bonfire lit. Rain it in, dude. Guys, 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 guys. Who wants to hear a scary story? Yeah! yeah. All right. Oh. So, hundreds and hundreds of years ago in Indian times, feather, not red dot, this land here, ancient burial ground, all right? Sacred place, and these spirits came out of it, and like, blah, 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 these people were killed, and Murder! This is a horrible f***ing ghost story. All right, all right. So so there was a burial ground and people were murdered. But it didn't happen 200 years ago. It happened one year ago tonight. So there's a group of college co-eds and they went camping in the woods. And they came up upon a, a sacred site. You know, they could feel it in the air. And there was a totem of the Apache revenge spirit. Panama, they called it. Anyway, so they started fooling around and they, they were looking at all these arrowheads and everything. And that's when they saw it. It was a hatchet. Tomahawk! Yeah, Tomahawk, yeah. Hatchet! <laughs> Holy <laughs> she's just freaking out out there! <laughs> I think we just let her lie there and then she can sleep it off. Don't kill us all! No one is safe! We desecrated his ancestors! Get him off! Run in the end, Mormon! Tell us what happened. Calm down, what, what is your name? My name is Sugar Crawford. I, we were out. I was assisting Dr. Julius Sark in his research. anymore. I still have one egg left. So what are you waiting for, man? Let her rip. 
Well, I see their TV on and said there might be people in there. So? So? What do you mean? What happens if they see us? I hope they see us. I don't want to get in any more trouble. Besides, what happens if they're just cool and they just ran out of candy? Look, we're not the bad guys in this scenario. We're the heroes. Huh? We're out here on Halloween night risking our asses to protect tradition. These assholes know the rule. They've been on the other side of the door. It's trick or treat. Trick or treat. One simple rule. And do you see any treats? No, it's our duty as the kids of Halloween to remind them of the rules that they appear to have forgotten. So are you ready to do your part? Just give me the goddamn egg. Get up there and ring the doorbell, Jesus. Wait, what? Where are you going? Hey. Trick or treat. Oh, you little shit. You better run. guys that threw the eggs at my girl? I mean, it's okay, I get it. It's Halloween, whatever. Plus, uh, kind of a big guy. <laughs> what are you, like 250, 260? Okay, then. Uh, well, as you can see, we are, uh, sorry, kids, no candy. That means we are closed for the night. All right. Seriously, bro, get the out of here. I've got some pumpkins to smash, you know what I mean? <laughs> Seriously, bro, get the out of here. You're starting to piss me off. Hotter than a campfire. Babe, we don't have time to play games. Seriously, we gotta go. Can I just blow you in the car on the way to the party? Hey, dickhead, my offer's about to get reduced to hand job in a second. What are you doing? Trick-or-treat. <laughs> aren't you a little too old to be trick-or-treating still? Duh, and aren't you a little too hot to be all alone on Halloween? As a matter of fact, I'm not alone. I'm babysitting an adorable little girl who's sleeping in her room right now. And in about an hour, when her parents get home, I'm heading straight to a Halloween party where I'm meeting my boyfriend. So what you're saying is that we have an hour to kill. <laughs> I don't think so, kid. Look. You're pretty cute, and you already have that perfect mixture of confidence and asshole that just, uh, really drive the girls wild. But you're too young for me, and like I said, I already got a man. Whatever, there's plenty of sexy nurses in the sea. And anyways, now that I know where you live, I have a feeling I'll be seeing you very soon. <laughs> I don't live here, just babysitting, remember? Don't waste your time. She's a prude. Are you at the party yet? Have you seen Brad? What's he wearing? 
Is it the doctor costume, like I said? Jesus, chill out. <laughs> what? You sound like a stalker. No, I just want to make sure he's there and he's having fun. Not too much fun. Because then I'll have to cut his balls off with a pair of toenail clippers. Gross. I don't think that's even possible. <laughs> it is. Well, it would take forever. When the hell are you going to get to the party? Oh, as soon as this little weird ass parents get here. They said by midnight, but hopefully sooner. Ugh, they're old and boring and should be in bed already. And are you serious? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm about to start my pregame. See you later. Oh, hello there, little fella. Let's see what you have up your sleeve. <laughs> oh, yeah. You and I are going to be great friends. I can tell already. No, 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 no way. She is mine, 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 mine. Oh my God. You're a big son of a bitch, aren't you? I don't care. I saw her first, I got here first. I am first and she is mine. I don't know what you think you know, but you're wrong. She's mine. I have been watching her for weeks. Wow. All right, maybe not weeks, but days. Days and days and days. And... God damn, fine. A day, okay, one day. You happy now, you nosy son of a but it was a whole day, an entire day today, but all day today since it got dark out. But that's still longer than you. You don't put any work into it, man. You just, you just show up like you, like you own the place, but you don't. No, you don't own the place and you don't own her. You know why? Because she's mine. <laughs> Tough guy, huh? Yeah? Tough guy. You think you're better than me? Oh, no, you're not. I am faster than you. I am smarter than you. I am a hell of a lot better looking than you. And I can outwit you so fast that your gross, ugly head will spin. Come on, man. I really need this. I've, I have had a really bad week, and it, it's Halloween night, and she fits my profile perfectly. That, that doesn't always happen. You know, you know how that is, right? I mean, you, you, you must have a type, hockey player or something. You're covered in blood already. You're like a rock star. You have clearly had a successful night. So, so why don't you just go back to wherever it is you come from and, and put your put your big boots up and you know, loosen up the straps. <laughs> Maybe a sip of margarita. Just just relax. Just get your energy back and, and just just take a break. Okay, you you deserve that, my friend. <laughs> God damn it. Do you know how long it takes me to get ready every night? Huh? Do you? Well, well whose fault is that? Huh? Son of a bitch. And besides, like I've been saying all along, she is mine! <laughs> Oh. <laughs>
kid, because she just lost her head over somebody else. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Hey, wait up! Do you guys know where that high school party is? Do you think there'll be beer there? Do you know what butt chugging is? Do you forgive Peter's denial and those who crucified you? Count not my transgressions, but rather my tears of repentance. Remember not my iniquities, but more especially my sorrows.
Do you have a for them? I think that would be a great idea. Never mind that, Sister Mary. Let's go.
That's all we have for tonight. Another monster marathon has come and gone. Sadly, we'll have to wait another year for another terrifying time. Oh, did you not get the dead fight to the after party? Well, it is for deceased members only. <laughs> well, if you do choose to go out, be careful of who may be lurking around the corner. You never know what may steal the life from out of you. Happy Halloween, my victims.